Uh, good morning, friends. We'll start uh, API 580. Section 14, reassessment and updating uh, RBI assessments. RBI is a dynamic tool that can provide current and projected future risk evaluations. The result of inspection, changes in process conditions, and implementation of maintenance practices can all have significant effects on risk and therefore the inspection plan and can trigger the need of to perform a reassessment. Many damage mechanisms are time dependent. Typically the RBI assessment will pro project deterioration at a constant rate. In reality, the deterioration rate may vary over time. Through inspection activities, the rate of deterioration, both short-term and long-term, may be better defined. RBI assessment premise change, increase or decrease in population density in the process unit, changes, change in construction material and repair, replacement cost, change in product values, revisions in safety and environmental laws and regulations, revision in the user RMP, such as change in risk criteria, change in feed amount compared. Composition changes in operating conditions, changes in unit operating lengths between maintenance, turnarounds, changes in inspection code standards. After significant changes, as discussed in 14.2, the significant changes in risk can occur for a variety of reasons. Qualified personnel should evaluate each significant change to determine the potential for a change of change in risk may be desirable to contact, conduct an RBI reassessment after significant changes in process conditions. Damage mechanisms, rates, uh, severities or RBI premise. After a set time period, although significant changes may not have occurred over time, many small changes may occur and cumulatively cause significant changes in RBI assessment. Users should sell, set default maximum time period for reassessment, the governing inspection codes such as API 510, 570, and API 653 are, and the jurisdictional regulation, if any, shall be reviewed in the context. After implementation of risk mitigation strategies, once the mitigation strategy sorry, is implemented, it is prudent to determine how effective the strategy was in reducing the risk to acceptable level. This should be reflected in a reassessment of risk and appropriate update in the documentation. Before and after maintenance turnaround, as a part of planning for a maintenance turnaround, it is usually useful to perform the RBI assessment. Reassessment, this can become a first step in planning. The turnaround to ensure that the work effort is focused on the higher risk equipment items. Roles, responsibility, training and qualification teams, team approach. One individual doesn't have the background or skills to single-handedly conduct the entire study effectively. Team leader. <laughs> the main function of team leader should be to integrate the inputs, outputs, organization structure and communications of assessment, learn and to carry out the following responsibilities. Formation of team and verification that the team members have the necessary skills, experience and knowledge. Assuring that the study is conducted properly, data gathering is accurate, assumption made are logical and documented, appropriate personnel used to provide data and assumptions, appropriate quality and validity checks are used on data gathered and on the data analysis, preparing a report 
impact on the RBI assessment, distributing it to appropriate stakeholders who are either responsible for decision on managing risk or responsibility, responsible for implementing action to mitigate the risks, following up to assure that the appropriate risk mitigation actions have been implemented, assure adequate documentation of the team activities, The equipment inspector or the inspection specialist generally responsible for gathering data on the condition and history of equipment in the study. Corrosion specialist, a qualified corrosion specialist shall be responsible for assessing the types of damage mechanisms and their applicability and severity to the equipment considering the process conditions, environment, metallurgy, age, and other relevant data pertaining to the equipment. <clears throat> the specialist also should provide recommendations or methods of mitigating the POF, such as changes in metallurgy, addition, inhibition, addition, coating, linings. Process specialist is responsible for provision of process condition information. The information generally will be in the form of process flow sheets. Operation and maintenance personnel, they are responsible for providing data in accordance when process deviates from the limits of operating window. And any tents in the operating data over the past unit run, including IOW parameters. <clears throat> risk analyst. The person is responsible to assembling all the data and carrying out the RBI analysis. The person could be a separate specialist or one of the above team member and is typically responsible for follows, as follows for the following. Define data required from other team members, defining accuracy levels for the data, verifying through quality checks, the soundness of data assumption in putting transferring data into computer program and running the program if it one in use, quality control of data input output, manually calculating the measure of risk if computer program is not used, displaying the result of in an undesirable way and preparing appropriate reports on the RBA analysis. Environmental and safety personnel. This person is responsible for providing data on environmental and safety systems and regulations. Risk assessment personnel. The owner user may require this person to be certified to the API Supplemental Individual Certification Program API 580 to demonstrate understanding of the concept of RBI. The qualification training of risk assessment personnel should be documented. Sufficient data shall be captured and maintained such that the assessment can be re recreated or updated at later stage by others who were not involved in the original pro assessment. The usefulness of the data will be particularly important in stewarding the recommendation developed from the RBI assessment and managing overall risk over the specified life frame, time frame. Sorry. RBI methodology. The documentation should be sufficiently complete so that the basis of uh, basis and the logic of decision making process can be checked and re replicated at later time. Time frame, the level of risk is usually a function of time.
moreover the assignment for failure mode and severity of the contem- contemplated event will invariably be based on variety of assumptions regardless of whether the analysis is qualitative or quantitative to understand the basis of overall risk it is essential that these factors are be captured in the final recommendation probability of consequences greatly enhance the capability to either recreate or update rbi assessment one of the most important aspects of managing risk through rbi is the development and use of mitigation strategies therefore specific risk management mitigation required to reduce either probability of consequence should be documented in the assessment data and information collection pitfalls of data and information collection include the following not understanding all the data needs not identifying the appropriate sources of data information failing to collect all the data information needed dealing with poor quality data not verifying the data to ensure quality risk management with inspection activities inadequate inspection planning based on the risk assessment results lack of inspection plans each probable credible damage mechanisms lack of objective structured inspection planning process for the risk results not appreciating when inspection activities have little no value of risk mitigation not choosing the most appropriate inspection technique for risk reduction not choosing the right combination of inspection frequencies techniques and practices lack of appropriate or timely mitigation based on inspection findings inadequate planning or resources necessary to implement the rbi plan Okay, the rest you can read. Thank you, gentlemen. I'll stop here.